if you keep holding the left trigger and you miss the timing, uh, you will actually be vulnerable to getting hit. You can still unleash your, you know, your 100 missiles, but you'll be, uh, you know, vulnerable to getting hit. Another thing is, uh, while you're charging almost anything, um, so if I'm charging my missiles, I'm kind of invisible for one second. However, when I'm dashing, like I am currently, I am pretty much invincible. Like, nothing could harm me in that state. So, it's a good way to, uh, you know, manipulate your enemies into uh, little corners and dash your way on out, just like I am right now. Hallelujah. Now, uh... There's also certain enemy types that take certain weapons to uh, to defeat, which is uh, really cool. And uh, at first, you, again, with m most enemies that you uh, have not faced before, you are going to come across them and real like try to figure out, okay, what's what's next? How do I how do I do this? And once you figure it out, um, they will there will be harder versions or modified versions or uh, even groups of them coming at you uh, randomly throughout the different stages. So. The beauty of this game is that each stage teaches you something new. Even even all, all the way like while you're in stage, let's say, 30, where I'm at now, I'm still learning stuff about the game. Uh, and it is helping me go back to previous levels um, and just be, you know beating them pretty easy. Jeez. Here's an example of a level where it might be smarter if I use Dismissal. Oh, uh, there you go. And, uh, I'm right. And what this does is eliminates a gr good group of enemies at the same time, which is cool. Oh, yeah. When you, uh, you know, hold your power down and you unleash it, another cool thing is, uh, basically as you're unleashing it, if you are gonna want it to shoot all around like default that's fine you just uh, let go of your right stick and uh, you'll just basically uh, launch everything all around you but you could also concentrate that attack if you choose to uh, and the, the way you do that is simply just exactly the same way that you shoot and uh, that's with the right stick and uh, as, as long as you're holding the left trigger and you have a direction uh, you could go ahead and aim your power you know your missiles towards a certain section let me show you uh, an example of that right now Jesus. These guys are relentless right here. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let's see. That's another good level I can show you guys. Which one was 8? I think 8 was the one with the soccer balls. Yeah, it was. So here's an example of a, of a creative level. So at first you're like, what? That's it? Just ants? I'm sorry, this isn't the soccer level. This is the this is the ant invasion level. Watch this. And basically, uh, pandemonium happens <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, man. Let's try that again. Holy moly moly. And there you go. Another example of a really awesome level. Let me see if I can put something that's hella challenging. This one's pretty fun. Pretty quick too. A tip I could give uh, if you're playing this and you, you're kind of getting frustrated because you have no patience is uh, every time you unleash your missiles, get, be prepared to dash because if you do that, you're technically, you know, invisible and you cannot get hit, which is great. It's what you want. Let's explode some missiles. 
visually, uh, sometimes there's so many enemies, there's just so much, you know, enemies, bullets, missiles, whatever going on at the screen at the same time that it actually slows down, which is pretty crazy. But uh, those moments are far beyond belief and you're shocked that you're actually still alive. Uh, but once you do successfully uh, get through it, it's a great feeling. A lot of games don't really do that anymore, but games like this give me a nice kick in the head, in a good way. Another thing uh, you could do is, um, if you dash at an enemy, you actually knock them unconscious for a couple seconds, giving you some time to defeat them because you will come across enemies that will counterattack almost anything you shoot at them. If you shoot 100 missiles at them, they'll shoot 100 missiles right back. So that's where strategy kicks in and you got to figure out what you got to do. For those out there who are, are like, who, where does this game come from? It's actually a, originally a Japanese N64 game called Bangai O, and uh, <laughs> the game looked very basic, obviously, back in the day, and because of console limitations, you couldn't have so many things happening at the same time. Um, so they kind of, uh, you know, reiterated the, the original version and made it so, so good. this stage. So I'm going to run you guys through uh, pretty much a lot of the stages that I've already went through, uh, just so you guys can get a feel of what's out there in this game, because a lot of people really don't know about this game, and that's a shame. That's a concentrated shot right there. Now, the perk of this stage is that I don't get to dash. I have no dash. On the top left you can see it's zero for zero. No dashing, no uh, no shield, so I gotta be very careful while I play this, this stage. I can't let too many enemies hit me, which they are. At least there's uh, missiles that I could use and I'm about to right now. Ba-boom. Near death. There are ways to uh, health regen. There are energy, uh, you know, health packs, whatever you want to call them, little blo blocks. Uh, there's also a uh, really a uh, cool uh, uh, slow health regenerating, but not automatically. Uh, you got to be gaining fruits. So in this case, because I was demolishing stuff, I was getting, you know, my health slowly recovering, which is cool. I think I'm stuck. Yep, I am. That's not going to do anything. Well, you get the gist of this level. Let's see, what's next? Oh yeah, this one was really cool. Oh! Oh, you bitch! 